right. Uh, on this graph, we do have a couple of points that are separated from the pack, and then we have a whole bunch of points that are connected. So this graph is going to be partly discrete and also partly continuous. The separate points are the discrete part, <laughs> and the connected points are the continuous part. So we are going to need to write the domain as an inequality and using interval notation. Um, we see the, the leftmost x value. Domain goes left and right along the x-axis. The first point we come to is a disconnected point, and its, um, its x value is negative 2. So I'm just going to say x equals negative 2 at that one moment in time. And there's a little bit of a gap. And then we come to our next point, which has an x value of negative 1. Now that's connected to a whole bunch of other points all the way until you get to an x value of 3. And that includes this other. This point brings nothing to the domain that isn't already there. So we want to include an inequality going from negative 1 to positive 3. So negative 1 is included, and positive 3 is included. So our inequality would look like that. If I wanted to write that as an interval, I would, uh, again, I'd need to include just the negative 2, so that would be an interval all by itself. I'm going to include both sides of it, because negative 2 is included. I'd use a union sign for my or, and then my second part would go from negative 1 to positive 3 with both sides included. The range, the range goes low to high. So as we start from the bottom of the graph, the very first point we come to is right there, which is a y value of uh, negative 1. And then there's a little bit of a gap until we get to the next y value that's on the graph. Oops. And this segment connects all the y values from positive 1 until you get to positive 4. So 1 is included in the y values, and 4 is included in the y values, as well as all the stuff in between. This thing brings nothing to the range that wasn't already there on the segment. So if I'm going to write this using interval notation, I'm going to include the negative 1. My OR becomes a union sign, and my other interval is from 1 until 4 with both endpoints included.